Good afternoon, everyone. I'm, uh, I hope uh, I hope this lecture will uh, uh, keep you awake for for a little bit. Um, so I call, I call this uh, Edge of Tomorrow uh, because uh, first I wanted a cool title uh, and and. Uh, it's a, it's a movie based in 2020, so it fits it's fit it fits predictions. And um, if if uh, you haven't watched this amazing piece of cinema, um, basically uh, uh, Tom Cruise fights aliens, uh, and every time he dies, uh, he goes back to earlier that day, and he optimizes his day until he defeats all the aliens. Um, and the and the title is the the uh, is is Edge of Tomorrow, and, and they 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 went for live, die, repeat, uh, and it, it resonated a little bit in me because it's pretty much uh, the same thing we do, right? So in a way, we uh, launch, optimize, repeat, right? Um, so heading into, into 2020, uh, I, I figured, um, uh, you know, we'll take a look at, at a few top five predictions of mine that uh, aren't necessarily the biggest, but uh, some things that I thought would be interesting, things that um, I think are important to focus uh, in your marketing strategy. So a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a VP marketing at Beachbum. Beachbum uh, is a gaming company. We specialize in card and board games. So um, uh, games that, uh, evergreen games, so it's games that uh, you're, you've played with your parents, your parents played with their parents, uh, but we bring that into, into the mobile landscape in a, in a very unique and fun way. Um, previously I was a, a marketing director for Playtica. Uh, I did a bunch of agencies before that. Uh, mostly in-app, uh, um, in-app uh, advertising. Um, back when when it was all just uh, CPI and nobody cared about results, so it was easy. Uh, proud father of two two uh, amazing boys, um, and and uh, a very very limited success uh, comedy uh, songwriter in Israel, as you can see from this amazing photo uh, crop from a YouTube video. Um, so, a little bit about my, my predictions. Um, so I think uh, the main thing uh, we're going to see in 2020 is marketing automation. Uh, there's going to be a lot about retargeting. Uh, I think audio and voice is going to be a, a big game changer in, 20, in 2020. Uh, and we're, we're seeing the move uh, uh, towards there right now. Um, micro influencers, right? So there's a lot of talk last year about influencers, and, and we've seen uh, a lot of companies adopt uh, uh, maybe celebrity uh, endorsements. Um, but I think we're going to see a move in 2020 towards uh, uh, smaller influencers um, and the rise of, uh, of IAAs and how uh, a mixture of strategy of IAP and IAA uh, will will take over. Um, so we'll we'll go through uh, through all of these, and then at the end, hopefully, some some ideas on how to, to take the the uh, all of this into into your marketing team. So when we talk about automation, um, I'm not going to shock anyone to to say that uh, all the self attributing networks will probably dominate uh, the marketing landscape in 2020, right? So Facebook and Google alone will probably be two third of, uh, of, of the ad spend. Um, um, and, and we're seeing that um, with Facebook AA, uh, Google UAC, sorry, Google AC now, um, um, everything that has to do with uh, rewarded video, ROAS campaigns, we're seeing that the optimization um, uh, algorithms are moving t deeper and deeper down the line towards predictive LTV, towards ROAS, um, which at the end will drastically uh, uh, lower the amount of campaigns we, we manage, right? So um, if, if back in the day we used to have 200 campaigns, um, you know, uh, in 2020 we're going to see a lot less of that. Um, the other thing is retargeting. Uh, that's going to, I think, really dominate uh, a lot of a lot of our marketing uh, uh, spend. Um, you know, with with the cost of user acquisition rising, 
um, um, we're seeing a need to, 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 to get those users back, but not just churned users, but also active users. Um, um, and I think that today we're able to have measurable and comparable campaigns to user acquisition, right? So I think 2020, um, it's, it's easy to say, okay, is, is my retargeting better than my user acquisition? Where should my, my next dollar, my incremental dollar is going to go? Um, because at, at the end of the day, in, in a lot of these campaigns, we're, we're getting a lot cheaper DAO and in some cases higher ROIs than user acquisition. Um, and and if, we, if we take a look just uh, um, uh, as an apps via uh, 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 graph at the adoption rate of, of retargeting, we're seeing that gaming companies are far, far behind. Um, a lot of a lot of the, the more advanced, right? So shopping and, and, and travel. Um, so and, and since market share for, for gaming is so huge, I, I think we're we're going to start seeing that those lines get uh, um, the, the, um, more and more um, um, sharp. The, yeah. Um, if if we take a look at. ARPDAO comparatively that, uh, um, that you can get between retargeting campaigns and, and non-retargeting campaigns. We see such a huge uplift for mobile gaming that it just makes sense to bring those users back. And if we take a look at retention rates, it, it just makes, you know, we're losing 95% we're losing of our users within the first 30 days. So why would I go ahead and buy another user? Why would I spend that money, you know, buying 100 users where within a month, 95 of them are gone? Um, I should try and, 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 and understand why those users left and try to bring them back. So third prediction is, is audio, uh, audio and voice. I know some of you are like, oh, really, is that, is that a thing? So um, with the rise of all the, the, the media streaming and, and podcasts, uh, I mean, Pandora and Spotify alone have over 150 million users, right? Um, and, um, and, and we're seeing so much, um, so much money going towards digital radio, towards uh, uh, podcasts. I think um, if, if, if we want to try and, and reach users in a different way, right? So not just while they scroll their feed, it's through music, right? Uh, everybody, uh, when I drive to work, that's what I use. Um, and since it's, it's on the device, it's easy to, to, to measure direct response campaigns. 20% um, of, of search uh, results in 2019 went to voice. Uh, so, right, so you ask Siri, you know, give me the best new card game. Um, and I think that a lot of things that, that we're going to try and uh, uh, do into 2020 is adjust the keyword searches that we use. So when we search, uh, we use different, uh, different words than when we talk. So we're going to try and, and, and adjust our keywords into contextualized speech. And, and try to find different ways uh, uh, to, to, to find the, those keywords w where you wouldn't type, but you would say, right? So, so think of, of what your users are searching when they, when they interact uh, uh, through voice command. Um, and, and when we see smart speakers, um, you know, all the Google Homes and, and Alexas, um, 200 million devices expected uh, uh, to be active um, um, in 2020, uh, and that's through offices and living room and, 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 and bedrooms. So we can reach those users where they're, I don't want to say not prepared to, 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 hear, to hear an ad, but they're, they're in a different headspace. So it's a very, very interesting thing for me, uh, at least. Um, it's a great opportunity into 2020 uh, um, um, to head into, in, into that space. Um, fourth prediction is about influencers. Um, so 
Um, uh, we saw all the big apps try to, try to do this, right? So CoinMaster just uh, recently did a thing with the Kardashians. Um, and, and I think the online presence is easy to measure, to measure direct response. Um, but the, uh, I think we should think about different scales. And I think we're seeing more and more apps trying to find localized, smaller uh, app developers. Uh, there was uh, um, uh, um, a study that showed that smaller micro-influencers and, and, and influencers that are smaller are able to um, get their audience to buy something or try something a lot better than celebrities, a lot better than uh, uh, all those big influencers. And, and we're seeing uh, a lot of companies that are in the influencer space saying, okay, instead of having $100,000 going for one, uh, for one big celebrity, let's try to break it down into five, 15, 30 different smaller voices that have a better reach towards their audience. And I think uh, that in, in 2020, we're going to see uh, the move of, of the, specifically of the influencer space into micro-influencers. We've seen uh, uh, great, great results with that. Um, and it has really been uh, um, an interesting, interesting voyage to see how connected they are to, uh, to the product, how connected they are, um, and, and how they're willing to bring in their friends, right? So it's, it's also a word of mouth uh, moving forward from there. So it has been, uh, for us, uh, um, doing very, very well. Um, last prediction um, for me for 2020 would be the rise of, of uh, uh, in-app ads. Um, we're seeing more, more and more how uh, um, um, in-app ads has become from just incremental dollars coming in uh, to being a, a viable part of how we measure ROI. Um, and you know, we talked about increasing of user acquisition on the backside of things, that means increasing in, in RPMs, right? So it just makes sense. Uh, we're seeing more brand dollars coming in. Uh, so you're not, you shouldn't be afraid to, to expose uh, uh, your top paying users uh, to ads because you can show them you know, a BMW ad, right? So th there's, there's a lot to be done uh, around, uh, around IAA to, to show not just that incremental dollar, but to, to build something that's bigger. And uh, throughout 2019, um, the measurement and, and management has been a lot easier to, to do. Um, and, and it has become very easy to, to get to a very granular space where you can almost uh, almost do it on a user level. Um, and um, once it, it's on a user level, we're all acquisition people. It's very easy to then just try to align your, uh, your acquisition to, 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 to reflect the, the ROI better. So um, the, the IAA, IAP strategy should be combined, right? So it's not just extra money to, to be had, but also to aim towards that. <clears throat> um, so I, I think I've, I've rushed through this. So I'll, I'll try to maybe uh, take it down a notch and, and uh, um, but a little bit about how to adjust your team accordingly, right? So uh, these are predictions and, and how I would take it forward. So first of all, it's all about growth mindset. Um, uh, I think that's, that's the, the thing I try to, to instill to, to my team uh, best. Uh, always try to, to find new things and, and venture on. Um, don't dwell on the, on, 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 on the, the, the test that didn't work, see uh, what, uh, what we can learn from, from, from every experience and, and grow and find and find win-win situations. Um, I think heading into 2020 and beyond, we should look into uh, hiring jacks of all trades rather than, than specialists, right? No longer are the days of, you know, I'm, I'm just doing Facebook, right? I'm managing 
uh, uh, my PPC. Uh, I think we're, we're going to need some people who do our uh, reward videos that can uh, uh, do uh, a little bit of creative that uh, obviously are very good at PPC. But I think we're going to need people that can move around and, and, and see a lot more than just, uh, uh, just uh, uh, that their specialty. Um, own your marketing tech stock. Um, make sure that you get resources for, for development uh, and, and for data. Um, I think that um, if we spoke a lot, uh, I spoke a lot about measurement. Uh, if you can't measure everything you do, if you can't align your data the right way, um, you're, you're missing out. So um, make sure that it's not just your team that's doing well, is that you have someone who's in charge of the marketing tech stack, who's, uh, uh, that you get resources from uh, whoever in the organization to help you build those APIs, to, 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 to implement those SDKs. Uh, because without cooperation on, on that end, it's, it's, it's grinding gears uh, uh, and, and uh, full speed on neutral, right? Um, Next, next thing is uh, invest heavily on creative. I'm definitely not, not the first guy to say it, but as automation keeps on going, uh, creative will be the key differentiator of how those algorithms uh, uh, grow and, and uh, the more you're able to not just produce, but make sure that your methodology, your A-B testing uh, uh, is done right, right? Own, own the creative process. Uh, and, and be able to deliver a lot more, um, that will definitely uh, um, make, make the difference uh, in, in 2020. Um, I think, and, and this is how uh, I try to build my teams throughout, throughout my career, um, is to have a holistic marketing, marketing view, right? So uh, try to, to combine combine marketing functions. It doesn't have to be, uh, um, if you have a big team, um, Make, make user acquisition and, and, and retargeting sit together. Make sure that your ad monetization and ASO team sit together, right? So those, th there's a lot of cross-function uh, uh, knowledge that can, can share from, from this to that, right? Um, um, uh, keywords on, on ASO are the thing you use on, on Apple search ads. Um, uh, the creative ideas that, that you run on Facebook can be, uh, 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 can be used for, for, for anything from reward video through, through ASO. So um, um, try to make sure that those ideas are, are mixed together and, and always um, uh, and, and are inseparable. Um, you know, right now we have a fairly small team, so everyone's doing everything. Um, and, and to me, it, it makes, uh, it, it makes the, the team think harder about how to, to market our apps. Um, I talked a little bit about, a, a little bit about audio and a little bit about micro-influencers. Um, so don't expect ROI day seven to be the same as you have for, for your value uh, um, Facebook campaign, right? So be patient. Not all KPIs are, are the same. Um, try to, to, to build it out through, um, uh, through um, consideration that it, it is a new channel and, and we are exploring into something new. It, we're, we're catching those users in a different headspace. So let's, uh, 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 they're not gonna be exactly the same, but if you take on a long enough, uh, a long enough time span, I think you can definitely find uh, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good results. Um, and I think at the end of the day, um, when, when you, when you uh, think about retargeting, make sure that you understand the user journey, um, have your user acquisition retargeting team work together with a CRM to build uh, to build that journey together, right? So it's not just I'm bringing those users back to the app and the CRM will do whatever they do. Um, we tried to, to, to bring uh, a, a user from ad through uh, the in-app, uh, uh, through a journey, you know, three days, seven days, 14 days in, into, into what they're doing. 
uh, and make sure that uh, creative is the same, to make sure that the messaging you're using, uh, the language, the, the, the art is, is through and through the, the campaign. Uh, we saw a great uplift when, 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 we, when we figured it out and uh, um, made, those, uh, made those changes. Gotcha.